Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Let's get straight down to it. So, a few issues going on right now, and I've got to be honest with you, one of them that's I, I bothering me uh, as, as a boxing fan is the fact that Logan Paul has come out and said that he hasn't been paid by Floyd Mayweather. Um, now, this bothers me. Not that I'm a huge Logan Paul fan. I'm not a fanboy of his. Uh, I'm not really a particularly big fan of Floyd Mayweather, but you have to respect, of course, his boxing skills. But um, if, this, if the truth be told, and Mayweather hasn't paid um, Logan Paul, the 20 million uh, which he's owed, then that's disgraceful. There's, there's no other way around saying that. Now, I don't believe that Logan Paul would lie about this for a number of reasons. A, he's a multi-millionaire already. He's got several business ventures going on. He's not cash-grabbed. He doesn't need to lie to try and get an extort money out of anyone. Um, he's also, you know, he's very keen to, to, to stay in the boxing world, as clearly he's got a trilogy fight with KSI coming up. So he's not going to try and burn bridges that way. Um, and I know for a fact that there's been issues with Mayweather regarding his finances with tax problems. And I know uh, back to 2017, which Connor referred to, everyone thinks Mayweather's this flash cash happy man. And I'm not saying he's down to his last dollar, but I don't think he's as wealthy as, as he lets on. And that's clearly, if you used to go and look in the tax um, situation, Again, which McGregor's referred to, Logan Paul's referred to, you'd understand. That's why Mayweather, he keeps saying it's a quick cash grab, but, you know, it's why he's taking all these exhibitions, which ultimately are going to tarnish his legacy in the Logan Paul. And obviously the one in China, sorry, Japan he did. I think he fought, like, didn't he? He fought like a, um, almost like a straw weight, a bantam weight. Uh, three years ago, so um, you have to wonder. Now, I know Javante Davis has clashed with uh, Mayweather as well about payment. He's not the only fighter under the Mayweather promotions. Um, and Leonard Ennerby is very, 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 very touchy right now, isn't he? When that Hearn attacks him about fighters pay and not being the big draw, not being promoted right with Javante Davis, he's almost offered Eddie Hearn out. So clearly... There's, there's issues there uh, with, fi- with Mayweather's finances. Of course, you never say that. Of course, he's going to go on um, Instagram and show you his next fleet of Bugattis. But uh, so a lot of the time, that hides that hides a lot of issues going on. And I think that clearly there's money issues there. Uh, if he's trying to extort Jake Paul, that's disgusting. Um, and that, that needs to be dealt with. And I'd like to see that be dealt with legality-wise. And it all come out in the air. Um, and, um, you know, I'm sure it will do because ultimately $20 million is no joke to anyone. Um, and Logan Paul, whether you like him or not, he's had the balls to get into the ring with Mayweather, whether you think it was fixed or not fixed, he lasted eight rounds. And let's be honest, he put it on Mayweather in that first round. Um, you know, it it wasn't a comedy fight for, for, for two rounds. And then, of course, Mayweather took over. But, um, yeah, I, of course he was probably in third gear. But who cares? A fight to fight. He still landed flush on Logan Paul. And Logan Paul took it. And, you know, he's trained hard for that fight. He's in front of the world. He had a lot to lose. Both fighters had a lot to lose. Obviously, Mayweather had more than, than Logan. But, you know, um, but you know, if that Logan Paul being sparked out in the first round, he'd be a running joke forevermore. So, um, you know, he deserves his payment. And the Paul brothers generate cash. You know, I know there's been talk about uh, Jake Paul not selling pay-per-views. Well, I'm not sure what source, because he's a big draw. The whole world talks about Jake Paul when he fights. Now, I get they got a younger base that probably can't afford pay-per-view. They probably find some illegal stream or streaming platform. But trust me, the viewing figures would be huge. Everyone watches a Paul fight. They're big draws. They're big stars, whether you like it or not, whether you like them or not. You have to judge it by the facts. So he deserves payment, and if it hasn't done that, then it's a long line of people trying to sue Mayweather. Um, so, you know, like I say, I'm not saying Mayweather's down to his last dollar, but I don't think he's uh, as well off as he likes to f- as pose he is in Instagrams. And obviously that's filtered down to Ellaby, who's incredibly touchy and protective as well, especially when Hearn challenges, challenges it about fight promotion and fighter pay, and then Mayweather promotions being a big draw. So... Interesting times ahead. I think you haven't seen the last of this one. Uh, I think Paul will push this 
Um, but obviously he's, he's pushing for a KSI third fight, so that will take up a lot of his time as well. But after that, I think if Mayweather still hasn't settled with him, expect a court case. Expect this to get ugly. And I'm just surprised Jake Paul hasn't um, piped up yet, but I'm sure that will come. As for Mayweather, who's normally vehemently uh, loud on social media, he's totally silent. So again, does that prove anything? I don't think it proves any innocence right now, does it? So, you know, watch this space. I think Logan Paul, again, there's nothing. There's no proof there's right now. But if he goes to court, I believe you'll find that Jake Paul isn't lying about this. So it needs to be settled. And Mayweather needs to settle this quickly because I, I think this could turn nasty. I really do.